Alright, what is up guys? Because always welcome back to the Wi-Fi Bell. This time we're going against a guy called Phalanx. So I expect Phalanx. Like, if not, then, you know, what's the point? No Phalanx. You know, that's... That's kind of disappointing. Et Eternatus, however. So that's kind of annoying. However, looking at this team... I think... Your Shifu, this is a single strike variant, is going to be good. Um, if I can keep priority with uh, my Talon Flame, that's going to be incredible. Because um, I do unprioritize Rillaboom, actually. <sighs> Question is whether or not I want to lead off with that. Um, Cicero looks to be alright, though clearly has issues. And um, there are very few issues, actually. Looking at um, my um, Pinjurgin combo together with. Um, Pinturgeon and uh, Raichu. I forget that name. That's kind of cool, isn't it? That combination looks really good. Um, I think Slowbro can be good. Can keep Eternatus at bay somewhat. If this is a good Eternatus or an EV to one, uh, then we are in trouble. I always assume people to bring something really weird. That's a phenomenal, by the way, picture. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really love my opponent already. Let's see, he leads off with Japanese name, that is Mew. It's not all about if we get priority, or we don't we don't have a priority, but we can U-turn out of this. So that's what we do. Um, because there is no way he's scarfed. I'm saying that, like hopefully he isn't. That did alright. No rocket helmet? No rocket helmet. So we keep our priority. Um Easiest switch in, in the world would be actually Osman. Like, depending on his set, I think Osman, the slow bro, can kind of keep it off. Um, call mind. So that's already a stress level I didn't necessarily want to deal with. Leftovers, call mind. Still though, um, shell side arm should be able to hit on the right path. Um, so he, even if he keeps coal mining, I'll still do the full damage. But I'm not necessarily in that well invested. However, I wouldn't necessarily be all that worried, at least not yet, because of the wicked blow aspect. But yeah, that didn't do that much impressive damage, did it? But we get the poison, which is great, actually. <laughs> We do nullify whatever he wants to go for, but he could be softballed, and um, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, how much do I want to pressure this? I believe I said in Feeder Max, the combination, I, I feel psychic is a thing, and I want to scout for that potential Fire Blast, right? Psychic, double the power, will do respectable amount of damage and consider my situation I'm actually better off going for a bullet punch here just to see um, just to gauge him really if he has fire blast he's gonna knock me out anyway so bullet punch it is get as much damage in this as possible Melico boosted come on do something here ah it's close though he did that flamethrower so that's like I said that was something to keep in mind so I believe my play was right but we do knock out the Mew, which don't get the Call Mind situation against us. However, we have a Cloister to deal with. And that Cloister is not going to be pleasant. <sighs> At least we knock out Mew, which is awesome. So it means that his strongest attack versus Mew was that Psychic. A uh, bit surprised we didn't see some like a real recovery. But, um, I think there's something pin church in it. Like, I feel Cloister is a good switching. Space Meteor. That's that's not a cloister, I can tell you that much. <laughs> so poison and dragon. I feel like we exchange um pleasantries. <sighs> like I said, like I can still capitalize on Osma and do some damage for there. Um his stab will do a lot of damage. But usually these guys carry flamethrower or fire blast to get it with dragon figure or filler. 
So we'll see what he's all about. Meteor beam. Oh, this is this is this is not right. Did not want to see this combination. This is scary, isn't it? So plus one meteor beam. How much will that do? Oh my god, Osma! <laughs> I did it right actually. Oh, the crit too. Hmm. We took that like way better than I thought I would. Um. We try to take a hit here. Go for that ice beam, hoping for the best. See, flamethrower. We should take those. We should. We should. We do. We do. We do. Get that ice beam in there. Nice. So, <laughs> question number two: What do I do now? Um, I don't want to necessarily sack anything. Flame for him is rather safe, so what I do is send in Raiden and like the surge should easily give me something. Just get as much damage as possible. It keeps playing for him, which is good. Yeah, that does a lot. Maybe too much. Let's see, what does he have left? A lot of Pokemon are actually weak to this. But yeah, I want as much damage as possible. Rising Voltage or Psychic. Double the power, which is resisted. Oh, we Psychic. Try to at least break through it a little bit. Oh, never mind then. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind me. Did not say anything. That it did stuff. Right, we still got the terrain, but I do believe if the Cinderace has Sucker Punch, then it's kinda up there. But no, he brings in Rillaboom. With the search. So that's not annoying. Huh. And we can't let him have that. So we're stealing back that search because his best move should be like grassy slide, I guess. Let's see. There it is. It should do still like a whole lot of damage. Is that banded? I think that's banded actually. So right, he switches out, did not like that. Goes to El Español. Interesting. Do I have bravery here? I feel like I feel like I go all out on this. Take my priority where it's at. Yeah. Because I think we should be close to knocking it out. Yeah, that did alright. I'm I'm satisfied with that. Gangshot, Cole, Libero, of course, and um, you know, that's clearly gonna hurt. Um, don't know if that crit necessarily mattered, but uh, okay, Life Orb. I'm gonna send in Pin Church in. I have actually Sucker Punch on this, and I'm gonna bait. I'm gonna try to bait him to go for um, an obvious move. Let's see if that works. Come on. Yes! Fuck you, Sin Race! <laughs> you got nothing on me. <laughs> yes. I made it all worth it. <laughs> right, back to Rillaboom. I'm not a big fan of Rillaboom right now. Um. That grassy light is like the worst thing that ever happened to me. Um, let's see, he got left. Cloyster. Like, Slowbro is not going to save me from anything here anyway. I feel like I'm gonna hope that this single strike 
your sheath is gonna save me from this, but basically I am in a position where I shouldn't say I lose, but I'm not I'm not feeling this one. I don't wanna sack you just yet, I want your full power. Yeah. This is the easy play. This is also I was shouldn't say the wrong play, but rather I am in a position where I'm I'm not feeling it. High horsepower. Oh, I avoided that attack. That's that's cool. Thank you for that. Um, I'm still slower here. Grassy line should be absolutely devastating. I think we sack and pin church in here. Um. But getting that grassy glide is going to be crucial. Because that will mean my wicked blow is going to be the worst thing that ever happened to him this Monday. Keeps going. Oh, yeah, because he's banded. Of course. I knew that. Right. Wicked blow. Wicked blow. Wicked blow. Or I go for a banded U turn. I think I do that. Because I think he want to keep this Pokemon because of its merits. Or he Dynamax. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's no good. That's actually kind of mean, isn't it? That's actually kind of mean. Still though, damage. Um. Ah, oh, that's that's awful, actually. It's with second raiding. Um. That is not something I wanted to see for sure. It's max overgrowth. Clearly gonna destroy me, and uh, he's gonna get his terrain. Now, it's whether or not I want to get to max myself. Or do I bad at a wicked blow destroy him? We don't know that. I know we're boosting my speed either. Oh, Max Flutter. I don't believe it kills, but if we're gonna play this game, I guess this is my best bet. Um, and then hoping to cross my, or I mean, slow roll would do something, but this is, this is probably above my league. Hopefully this kills, but uh, I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, nowhere near, actually. Nowhere near. The max overgrowth is going to be devastating. Oof. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Let's see. Boost my speed, defense. Nothing of these really matters. Um, max flutter him again. Um, I will not win this game, but I, I think I put up a good fight. But um, yeah, I mean, Eternatus was kind of rough on me already, and a meteor beam was a good strat. Let's see. Let's see. He brings in Cloyster, so I can assume that Cloyster to be sashed. So we'll go for Max Steel Spike, actually. So 
to get my defense boost a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily matter. I think he's gonna smash it since it's focus sash. Yeah, there we go. Leave see if that little edge of defense will save me. Yeah, I find it unlikely. Right now, I really wished I had Sucker Punch. At least it wasn't White Herb. Like, if it wasn't White Herb, that would have been uh, just a, such a. Um, well, ball bust, I was gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, Wicked Blow, and we go into Hope for Best. No, oh, close combat. Let's let's go all out. Icicle Spear. Let's see. Ah, we're nowhere near surviving this skill link. Ah, it sucks. It sucks. But it's alright. I think, like I said, we did give a good fight. Probably should have, like, sacked Slowbro. Just to prolong this a little bit. But, um, I'll say it as it is. I am happy with, um... How I was able to kind of um, gauge myself versus this. Because this was no easy match. And uh, having leaders against you can sometimes be overwhelming. And um, this was clearly it. I mean, for, for all the right reasons, this was something way above my league. And I did recognize that the second there was a meter beam on the field. Uh, let's see. How much do we take here? Yeah, we are being swept. So, right, GG for my opponent here. There was actually nothing to it. Like, he did all the right calls. And um, I failed to recognize early what caliber my opponent was. You know, when you see a legendary on a team, you kind of want to say, well, maybe this is an in-game team or not that well-rounded. But Fallings showed me one way, and that is that, no, sometimes you just want to have an edge. And he absolutely got it. So with that said guys, as always, thank you for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye.